Hi, it's Deb Sluice. So I'm here in the hallway, and down there you can see the light in the hallway leads to a warehouse. So I want to guide you and give you this quick tour here to show you where the Dare to Declare studio is. So you can see here on the door, it says, well it's reversed, but it says light up studio. So let's come in. There, now you can see it, the light up studio. So the reason it's called the Light Up Studio is I was inspired by a, a book club that Oprah Winfrey had and she had a woman on, uh, Toni Morrison, who's since passed away, and said, what does your face do when a child walks into the room? And she said, does it show disapproval, like, you know, they're worried about their shoes being untied and they maybe got dirt on them, or does your face light up? And for my ECE heart, I was like, ah, oh, I love that. You know, does your face light up? But I thought, not only do children deserve that, so do adults. So that's what inspired this name for the Light Up Studio, is that I wish and desire for every person that comes in to feel so when they come into this foyer area here, so you can see I've got hangers ready for people to hang their coats. You can see I've even got little hooks in case we have little people. <laughs> children, so the youngest I've had here is actually 13. I have a bench so that uh, you can sit down to put on your shoes or take them off because I actually here have an area that says, can you see, slip on, slip off. It's interesting, so that's kind of a take on, do you remember the Karate Kid movie, Wax On, Wax Off? And it's interesting because this week I had a client say to me that he had a karate kid moment where he finally understood why I was getting him to do wax on, wax off at the end and that's when the magic happened. But anyways, that's just a take on that. It's kind of funny, I just remembered that. But that you can slip on those slippers and at the end of the session you can take them off. So that way, if you want, get really comfortable here in the light up studio to do your vision board. Also at the door, I have a prayer. And so, I don't know if you can see it there, but again, it's backwards, but it says, may I be grateful for what I have, wanting only what I need, generous in giving, living intentionally my best, knowing that all things are in his loving hands who calls me his beloved. So uh, I wrote that prayer, I give it at the end of every single vision board workshop. It's my blessing to the participants as they leave and um, it's just been really well received. I, I have a little storage closet here that um, the carpenter built, um, and I'll show you what's behind door number one here. Whoops, can't really seem to get it open here. <laughs> okay, let me, there you go. So, ta-da, it's full of vision boards. So they're all the foam core boards. So that's what I use, and every person that comes to do their vision board is supplied with a foam core board for their vision board. It's important to have a foam core because you want it to be able to stand up. So you can see here, I've got a picture frame and I have another vision board that's complete because you want it to be able to be standing up on its own so that it can be fully displayed because that's another part of the protocol for a Dare to Declare a vision board. So when you come in here to the studio, I'll show you this here. So as you come in, you're going to be greeted by me. <laughs> I'm going to call you by name and I'm going to ask you to come over here and take a notebook. So everyone gets to have a notebook as part of their in-person workshop. Um, and you can see I've already got some magazines displayed and I'll show you the collection of magazines. Can you believe it? That's only half of what I have. I have more at home because I also do corporate functions. Next week I'm going to be able to do a corporate um, function with 28 educators. The supervisor of the childcare has hired me to work with her employees for a PA day. I'm really excited to do that and that's going to be off location. So I have just as many magazines that I have in a kit that I take on location as well. But here in the studio, you can see here I have them also organized. So this one here, these are success magazines. So if somebody's looking specifically for career or for, um, you know, their um, business, then I've got somewhat topical magazines in terms of them divided up. 
as well down there you can see I've got more masculine types of magazines but there's also women in our area who just love hunting and fishing um, and maybe they're wanting to get a motorcycle so you know those that's where those magazines are and then also part of the dare to declare protocol is to um, have the images be the predominant factor but I also encourage if you want you can also add embellishments like stickers and I've got another whole set over on the other side of the room and there's washi tape and there's stamps uh, last week um, I had a lady here and she used the Wonder Woman stamp so that was really fun and then I've got this beautiful I don't have it turned on because it's summer but I've got this beautiful fireplace so which is really cozy here in the winter and sometimes clients will come and sit here in the chairs and look through the magazines as they're looking for images on their vision board uh, they're really comfortable there's the seven life areas I give as a nudge for participants to just support them as they're creating their vision board and all along here you can see so I have my laptop now my laptop is plugged in and connected to the large screen TV behind me so that way any person there's no bad seat in the house that everyone here I'll turn it around you can see that everyone here has a view of the screen so they can see the PowerPoint slides to support them to create a really powerful intentional vision board and then along here I've got a countertop that you can see I've got some nuts sitting out right now um, my guest will be here in probably about half an hour she's traveling from Toronto so we're gonna be doing a one-on-one -on -one workshop with her today in the studio you can see I've already prepared so she gets to have one of the branded pens as well I have a gratitude journal so every client gets a little gratitude journal you can see my little signature Tiffany blue color as well there's a spiral there which is part of my logo and then I've got it set up as though I always call it like a dinner party so the scissors are laid out the glue everything that she needs and we're gonna have a really great afternoon together so she, yeah she's one of my one-on-one -on -one clients and she's asked if she could come and do a vision board uh, here in person so that's what's the beautiful thing about doing um, dare to declare a vision board and coaching is that I can do a hybrid where we can do some of it on coaching we can do some of it in person especially if you're in Ontario but even if you're in the States um, we're only an hour from Detroit so you know thinking about driving distance from Ohio or any of those places where certainly you know three-hour drive the other thing is um, my guest this afternoon she's going to be staying at the boutique hotel here in Chatham and it's called the retro suites so if you want to have more information about that I could let me know um, I got a great um, connection where I get a corporate rate so I can set you up and it's a wonderful place to have a girls retreat uh, a couples weekend so let me know and then you can come and use this beautiful studio and I can host you in this studio space so the other thing I want to show you is there's another closet here so I do have a printer so I am a big proponent of paper magazines um, you can see here I've got like um, this was actually made when we opened up and it's all well wishes from people at my open house but um, I am a big proponent of magazines but if you do need to print something off especially like a car um, a specific car then you know we certainly I have access to a printer that I can do that with you so I just want to show you too here this is uh, the washroom and it is beautiful last weekend one of the ladies said if you don't have to go to the washroom just make an excuse to go in because you're gonna want to see it it's so pretty so <laughs> it absolutely is and um, all the little extras and uh, finishing touches are there and so everything's been thought of and taken care of to come into this beautiful light up studio space so I would love to see you um, I do also as I said we um, I do serve lunch or dinner depending on with the in-person workshop it's included in your price so just so you know per person it's two hundred dollars US per person that's for now that will be changing um, in that actually on Saturday I'm really excited I'm going to be having a planning meeting with our team our dream team and uh, we're going to be looking at all of what dare to declare has to offer and doing some repositioning uh, refocusing resetting and uh, just visioning so we're really excited about that but for now uh, that's what it is and so contact me I do have workshops booked uh, we're booked up until October so if you're interested 
on weekends. They are filling up for the fall. Uh, so let me know. I can do a Friday night, a Saturday. Certainly we can do it during the week as well, but those tend to be the most popular. So I also have wine glasses if you want to bring your own. Uh, you can do that. But as I said, the meals included. I also have like a little bar fridge here. Uh, so all the drinks are in there. You can see I've already planned some snackies for uh, my guest here this afternoon. And I have a coffee maker and, and or tea. And so, you know, we have your choice of specialty coffee or teas. And so it's truly a beautiful experience uh, coming here. You can see all the decor touches. Uh, there's my picture with uh, my crush, my celebrity crush, Jack Canfield, who co-wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. I'm really excited. I get to go see him in, um, in November. And so I just want to show you a little bit more here, some of the magazines. So you can see here, I've got all kinds of magazines, whether it be Cottage, that you're thinking about that you want to put on your vision board maybe maybe your desire is to have children and, and be a mother and so you want to have children or you're you're looking at a marriage as your vision for your future uh you know i've got that i've got like horses we have um lots of different books here that came from thrift stores um i've got calendars that have beautiful photos and and um and quotes so really we have the whole as i said i've got of over I don't know it's got to be a thousand magazines here and uh, everything that you need to create a beautiful amazing extraordinary powerful dare to declare vision board so come and visit me come and talk to me and uh, what I do is um, I create a private link for you and your friends or and your work colleagues I send you the link you pass that out to your group we can have six uh, I I, I don't book any less than six people at one time and up to 12 here in this space. But certainly, like I said, the corporate events can be much larger if they're off site. And uh, so if you want to come here, I send you the link and you can pass that out to your friends. They pay register right through there so you don't have to deal with any of the money or organizing. I, do, I take care of it all for you. So I would love to have you come and consider doing a Dare to Declare vision board. Cheers.